Hi everyone, my name is Ilsa Marie. Welcome to my channel. This week's video is especially close to heart. It is a 20 minute chair home workout. It was inspired by my own grandma, Lita, who has been unable to attend her senior center fitness classes due to COVID. So I wanted to offer out this video for any of you out there that miss your community physical therapy classes or exercise classes. This is a great one you can do right at your own home. All you need is a chair and a couple weights if you would like. I'm using home Topo Chico water bottles. You can use anything that you find around your house. And yeah, we'll get started. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, so we're gonna get started seated in our chair, feet hip distance apart. Yeah, and make sure you have a couple weights if you would like them. I have them by my feet. And make sure your spine is nice and lengthened. We want to have nice posture here as we start. And we'll begin right here. So we're going to start with palms open. Reach for your ceiling and let your arms go down. Again, scoop up and let your arms float down. Now, wide motions, taking up space in your room. Beautiful, keep going, reaching your fingers out to every corner of your space. Reach the side and then up. Keep going with our arm extensions. And shake it out. Nice, and now to the front, like you're pressing up, lifting the ceiling high above you. And let it float down, rise up. Let it float down. Again, rise up. Let your arms fall down. And again, hands go down. Shoulder raises. Shoulders to your ears and drop them down. Shoulders to your ears and drop them down. Keep going, squeezing as you get there and drop. Again, squeeze and drop back. Shoulder rolls up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. That should feel nice. Now the reverse up around and down two of these take a couple on your own time and shimmy it out shimmy it out nice little wrist rolls so rotate your wrists one way and take circular motions all the way up like you're a flamenco dancer and circle all the way down you should hear nice pops and cracks throughout your wrists Keep it going. Circle the other way now. It might be a little harder. And scoop it around, twirl the arms all the way back down. Shake it out, shake out your hands, shake out your shoulders. All right, now reach to your right and shoulder stretch. Breathe in, let it out. Other side, left hand reaches right arm supports. Breath in and breath out. Let it go. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we're ready to get started. If you're using weights, you can go ahead, pick them up now. You do not have to use weights for this portion. We're going to take bicep curls. So curl up and to 90. Again, up and 90. Keep going. It does not need to be at the same speed as me. You can take it slower or faster if you'd like. We're working on our quality of movement. Drawing up, hold, and let it go. All right, just one more. And drop the weights by your side. You can briefly shake out your arms or roll your shoulders out if you'd like. Nice work. Now pick up your weights again, and we're going to do a similar bicep curl, but externally rotated. Crunch up, 
and crunch up. So targeting a little bit different set of muscle groups. Curling in and keeping it at that 90 degree angle with your elbows to shoulders. Keep going here. Nice. Reset your feet on the ground and take a breath in, breath out. Moving on to our next arm exercise, around the world is what I call these. So with or without weights, bringing our arms up and around to the top and slowly down. Again, up and around, slowly down. So wrists stay open, palms stay open, slowly down. Yeah, we're working our entire back here. All the muscles through our back, upper arm bones. And set your weights down. Roll your shoulders around. Should feel nice now. Yeah, shimmy it out if you'd like. Okay, and grab those weights one more time. We're going to take one last arm exercise here. These are bent over rows. So if you can and you feel safe, lean over slightly and pull both weights up by your side. Draw down. Pull up and extend slowly down. Draw up. Hug your shoulders in and lower it down. Make sure you're not crunching your neck here and keep going your own pace no rush bend over rows nice bring it back up and set your weights down we're done with those for now okay we're gonna just do a twist extension with our arms so twist you're reaching to the diagonal and other arm reaches, other arm reaches across your body and across. Keep going. These are arm extensions on the diagonal. Now we're going to take a little hand, just like we're doing a stop where we are pushing a large button still at the diagonal and press out and press out. Really envision that you are pressing out. And now we'll take fists and punch. A little fist punch, punch, and punch. Really twist here, yeah. Really press out as you punch forward. Nice, keep it going, you got more of a punch. Okay, now we're gonna double it up. Punch, 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 keep going. Couple more. Punch, 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 punch. And yes, keep the punches going. Nice work, you guys. Shake it out, relax your arms. Hopefully you had some fun releasing some energy in those punches. We're gonna start with extending our right heel and left heel out. Heel taps, let's go. Tap and tap, tap. And tap. Make sure your big toes are coming back towards your face each time. Heel taps. Now toe taps. So heel lifts, just the toes. Just the toes. And toes. 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 And toes. A few more. Feel your toes solid on the ground. And now heel extension. Heel extend out, hold. Now lift your leg off the ground. Three, two, one. Switch. Three, two, one. Keep going. Doesn't have to be at my pace, but try and lift a leg and hold. Squeeze in as you hold. Ah, there we go. Marches. All right, so we're gonna start moving. Full body movement, march in place. March in place. Yeah, knee lifts, knee lifts each time. And actually like stomp on the ground. So your neighbor's here and like that is okay here. We are stomping and marching in place. 
And naturally your arms are gonna go too. And then we'll start to twist. Twist towards your leg and give a little snap. Twist and snap. So opposite arm and leg. This might be a brain teaser here, but try it on. Twist and snap. Twist and snap. Now keep moving, keep moving. When in doubt, just keep moving. Uh, lift a leg, maybe you just twist through the upper body if you don't want to do the snaps. <laughs> and there we go. All right, plant your feet back down on the ground. Make sure they're hip distance apart. Feet will stay on the ground. Hands come by your chair and press up. Chair sit-ups, slowly lower down. Again, feet stay on the ground. Sit up and sit back down. Take these at your own pace. Press up, press down. Now use your tools, press up, spine lengthens, and lower down, no rush. Lift back up and lower it down. Again, press and lift, chest opens, and slowly sit back down. Last one, here we go, lift, and we're back to standing. Okay, so for this next portion, we're gonna use the back of our chair. So I'm just switching around my furniture here. But I want you to place your hands on the back of your chair for support. It's almost like it's a little ballet bar. Feet are hip distance, and let's take some calf raises. Now if you do not want to stand for this next portion, you can skip ahead about two minutes and we will be back to seated. If not, keep doing calf raises and make sure your chair is sturdy enough here to support you. Yeah, so heel lifts. They're working out our calf muscles. You might feel them muscles, you might feel them tomorrow. But nice and slow, just heel lifts. All right, feet hip distance. <clears throat> and now transferring our weight, we're gonna extend our right leg back. Left leg, toe touches back. And switch, these are toe touches, but to the back. Uh, like you're reaching back with your feet. Keep your spine nice and lengthened, eyes right in front of you. Switch one foot to the next. Feet together now. We're going to do a little bit of coordination. Right foot to the right, right foot back. Feet together, left foot to the left, left foot back. And again, right foot to the right, right foot back. It's okay if you mess up, but keep going. Left foot to the left, and left foot back. And let's do a few marches in place, just because, just because we're here. So a few marches in place from where you are. And march along. For five, four, three, two, and one. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna come back to seated. Right where we began. Make sure you safely get to the other side of your chair and make your way to seated. Final stretches before we wind down. Now starting here, my left hand is going to touch my right leg and my right hand is going to reach back. So I'm essentially twisting towards my right thigh and I want your eyes to look towards the side wall if they can all the way back. This is a gentle seated twist. So we'll spend a couple breaths here, but you can always spend a few more on your own time. 
twists are essential for vitality, for releasing out the toxins, bringing us more energy and draining our lymphatic system here. So super important. We're gonna take the other side, opposite hand to leg, so towards our left leg, and imagine the center of your chest just reaching to the back of your room. Everyone's twist will look slightly different. Do what you can right here. What you can. Breath in and let it go. Interlace your fingers and press your hands forward. It should feel nice on the palms of your hands. You don't often do this stretch. Release your arms and that shoulder stretch we took in the beginning. Right arm supports left. And opposite. Reach it out. Breathe here. You should feel a nice stretch in your shoulders or your upper back. All right, and my right hand is gonna reach like, I'm trying to touch my mid back. Now make sure you don't curve forward here, but chest, neck stays open. I'm just reaching to like the back of my neck, top of my upper back, let that arm go. Left arm, fingertips reach down. Elbow goes up. And let it go. And leg stretches. So lengthen your right leg, flex your toes back, and slightly lean over if it's safe for you to do so. Half pigeon. So my right ankle comes to my left thigh. I'm gonna feel a major stretch in that right leg, that right glute, but breathe here. Keep your foot flexed to protect your knee. And I set that foot back down, and now the left side, left leg extension. Slightly lean forward to get a bit hamstring stretch. And nice, half pigeon seated. So again, ankle to thigh, keep that foot flexed. And breathe here. Very nice. Put both feet back down. And just how we started, reach your arms up, bring them through to hands at heart center, scoop up, hands to heart center, scoop up, big circle, hands to heart center, breath in and side out, breath out. Really nice work, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. High fives, yeah. Thank you for joining and I'll see you next time.